verse 28, and has, and has not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters, thou hast done foolishly in so doing. And so Laban is saying, you know, you shouldn't have did that. This is foolish. You didn't give me a chance to say goodbye to my daughters and my grandchildren. You, this is foolishness what you've done. You shouldn't have did this, man. You could, you should, you could have told me <laughs> what you were doing. No, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Jacob just holding his peace, listening to what Laban is saying to him. Verse twenty nine. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spake unto me yesterday night. Take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob, neither good or bad. So Laban is, is, is making it sound like, yeah, man, I, I if I wanted to, I could take your life right now. But you better be glad that the God of your father spoke to me. Because if they hadn't, man, I I, I kill you and take everything back right now. It's in my power to do you hurt. So that's how Laban is talking, all cocky. And like, you know, but you you the God of your father told me don't 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 say anything bad or good to you. So you lucky he said that cuz I may have hurt you, boy. <laughs> and so this is how Laban is. His 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 true colors are showing. Well, Jacob already knew what his true colors were. He was he, he he Laban is a liar. He don't never speak the truth. He he just take advantage of you. He, you make he make you think he's your friend, and then turn around and and take what he you thought he gave to you. Like no, no, I didn't give it to you. You got to work for that. 